hey what's up guys welcome back to my youtube channel and in this video we are going to cover something which is uh, related to ui and uh, we are going to cover the collapsing toolbar layout which is available in android if you are an android developer but in flutter for achieving that you need to do something different uh, which is quite different from uh, android because uh, it is not like a widget which is available directly into flutter but it is kind of that widget which you can use to make that collapsing toolbar layout in which your app bar is flexible and if you scroll the list then your app upper bar goes on the on the top and then uh, it changes its position so that is what we are going to achieve so let's start so this is the normal uh, the application you can see flutter collapse is the name of the application and uh, it does not have anything so it is uh, saying that uh, it wants a home page so let me make a home page first of all let's make it a stateless widget and let's name it a home page so i'm not going to demonstrate how i uh, created this project it is kind of very easy and uh, you must be aware of uh, the fact how i did this so this is our container so rather than container we can use here scaffold and inside here we have this app bar property which let's use that uh, for once and here we can have title where we can write uh, let's say new text and uh, uh, app bar okay so the thing is that um, I'm not uh, covering a lot of things here because um, I, I guess you must be aware of all of this so that is why I'm not covering all of uh, the creation of the project and everything but uh, when it will be needed then definitely I'm going to cover so here uh, let's say we give it a new container and we are having an app bar as of now but uh, we'll see how we can um, make it flexible so let's uh, try to build this project at once so that um let me just uh, make it a little bit bigger in size and and guys lots more interesting videos i am working on which is not just about flutter it's about data as well so uh, let's see what we can achieve that and when we can achieve that and uh, let's let's run this application for the first time and let's see what output we get and uh, yeah, it is very simple application so um it will not show many things but yeah it will um, show some um good things like app bar this, this will have an escape hold so let's just wait for a few seconds and we will have the output in front of us in our android emulator i'm not using iOS this time because this is something which is uh, much more related to uh, android not uh, with the ios so that is why i'm using this uh, android emulator and uh, this has built and one more thing is guys that i am using dart 2 but i am writing this syntax which can be you know um uh, which 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 will be uh working for dart 1 as well so that is why you are uh, seeing this new uh this new everywhere so that's that's just your choice this you don't have to use this operator so uh, we have this container so before proceeding uh to the next level let's change it to new custom scroll view okay custom scroll view will give us some properties this is also a widget where you will get this uh, sleevers okay so what are sleevers so sleevers are also widgets but these widgets are like uh, these, these are flexible widgets which don't have uh, the fixed width and size they can adjust themselves uh, depending on the viewport so that's what we can do here so we have this uh, uh, a list of uh, sliver widgets here and now we can have new sliver app bar here okay so this is again a uh, similar app bar but it has some more functionalities like it has some more uh, things which will be which we can see here so it takes a title and expandable height and everything so there are a lot of things available uh, some of the things are same which is available in app bar which you can see on the top and other things are like uh, this expanded height so let me give it a height let's say 150 so it will give us a, a, a more better or more bigger height you can say and then uh, let's have something like uh, standard idle maybe no no standard idle is not needed 
as of now so we can have this is like floating we can say it whether it is true or not then we have this pinned we can say it is true but I, I'll just uh, demonstrate demonstrate what is the difference between this floating and pinned mm -hmm. so once we will make this uh, layout then we can do this stuff so now let's give it a title and we can say sliver app bar okay so we have this sliver app bar and now if you will try to scroll nothing is happening as of now but something should happen so for that what we will do we can say here flexible space and new flexible space bar okay now it it will if you will try to scroll it it will do something so for that we will give it a, a title or center title whatever you want you can give here so let's give it a title again and now just to delete this part from here and paste it here so that works now if you will try to ex um, scroll nothing is happening as of now so now what we will do we have this uh, sliver app bar now now uh, this sliver widgets only takes uh, only sliver elements so now we can say here we have lot of sliver elements you can see lot of sliver widgets so we can use here sliver list we can use sliver grid we can use sliver fill viewport and uh, anything you want to use you can use here so let's use sliver list maybe okay and here we can we have to give a delegate so we have lots of delegates not lots of but we have basically two delegates one is the builder delegate which uh, which is like uh, a dynamic kind of list you can make and for uh, we have this sliver child list delegate which is just for a uh, static content so we will use the builder delegate so that you get a better understanding and it takes two parameter i guess one is the context and one is the index so here we can say context comma index okay and it should work so here now we can return something so we can say new and uh, you can say here anything like uh, you can have um, a normal widget uh, or this lever widget it's all your choice you have lots of widgets available so we can have a list style or whatever you want oh, this is there's no such kind of restriction that we have to use uh, w anything which is which which we want so we have now this title and here we can write like let's say new text um, we can say here list item dollar index okay so it should give us this list now if you will scroll it then you can see the app bar is going upside and down now let's remove our top app bar which is not needed now so because we have already this sliver app bar so now if, if you can see when you will open the screen then it will be looking like this and then this this app uh, this title is now not visible if you will scroll much so what what that means so if you will um, make this floating from true to false then what will happen this will be visible that is why I did not tell you earlier because now when uh, we will demonstrate it so it will be much um, better situation to tell you this so let's just uh, scroll it again and now if you see this is not going anywhere so that is one thing and now one is uh, one uh, property is this pin which is by default true uh, not true we, we have made it true now let's make it false then what will happen when you will scroll this app bar will be go on out of the uh, you know out of the screen so that is what you can achieve by this pin if you will make it true then this will be or this will always be on the screen like it okay so this is our collapsing toolbar layout and here in the uh, you know in the flexible space bar you can give any widget okay so this is this also uh, have a background kind of property where you can specify any background or any background color and similarly sliver has so many options you can implement grid list anything so 
whatever you want you can do in this slivers uh, uh, the flexible things we can do and now let me show you one more thing it should have something like sliver um, extended list fixed extent list so here we can use this element as well but this also takes an item extent which you can say like 50 so um, let's make it a 50 and now you can see that there is a more this uh, uh, like say height between this which uh, this item list so let's let's make it 150 once and now it should be available so you can see uh, there is a difference between this height of this list item so this is what we have this item extent so similarly you have many um, uh, many widgets available and we will cover all of this but uh, not in the one single video because it will be very uh, frustrating for you to you know uh, go through all of things in one video and then you will forget about it so when we will uh, implement uh, uh, other like uh, normal uh, applications we will make some more application then we will use different different widgets like we are doing from the beginning so that's it guys from this video if you want to check out my uh, all of my tutorials then you can go to github.com slash I am Pawan and here you will find this flutter example apps which already has 135 stars and you can also start it and here you can see I have this YouTube channel link, I have this Facebook group link and all the links of uh, most of the links of the applications with their full, uh, with their source code and their YouTube tutorial and also uh, like the if they are the package then you have the pub package also available. So I will put the link in the description and uh, that's it guys thank you so much for watching and I'll, I'll see in the next video bye bye take care tada.